Two fingers. Three fingers. Two fingers. Three fingers. How about four fingers? Two, wait, who the hell are you? The absolute nerve of some people. Ladies, gentlemen, and tarnished of all ages, welcome one and all to your incantation hotspot. Your Bible to what's good and what's not so good when it comes to incantations of all kinds. By which I mean today, I'll be ranking a lot of the best incantations against each other in terms of usefulness. Of course, there are over 100 incantations in the game. 101 to be exact, so I will only be talking today about the ones that are absolutely top of the board, those that are simply a cut above the rest, and those incantations will then be placed on a tier list and then compared against each other so you can know which ones are really genuinely the cream of the crop of sling and faith magic. That said, every single incantation that I talk about in this video is incredible in its own way, just being compared against the others, so even something in the bottom of this tier list will be worth using over pretty much any other incantation outside side of niche situations where you want one very, very particular thing. Though before we continue with this goodliness, I do want to give a massive both thank you and shout out to today's sponsor. I don't do this often, you know that I don't, but sometimes something catches my eye and it catches it in one hell of a gorgeous way. Project Orochi, a clothing brand with a exceptionally striking look, and a lot of said looks are based on a lot of yours and mine favorite games, Souls, Elden Ring included. Like, for example, this incredible new design on uh, the Lucaria Academy. It's just Mwah, you know? They are very well made, very comfortable, and very worth your time in getting a hold of. You can- I mean, look at this dragon! Like, honestly, just full on the crackle, I- ah. In any case, yes, you can get yours with the link down below, including a 10% discount for using it, and, well, you will see yourself looking fabulous. For now, though, on with the show. Without further ado, then, let's break into this tier list with Howl of Shibiri on the D tier. This incantation does a small bit of damage and a large amount of madness buildup in a small area around you, including a little bit to yourself. But what a lot of people still don't know to this day is that it is also actually a damage buff while it is active. And the reason that this is notable is it isn't like a boost to physical damage or magic damage or anything specific like that, just a 25% increase to everything across the board, every damage type that you can dream of. Though it also makes you take 30% more damage yourself while it's active. The low damage and increase in damage intake is why it's so low on this tier list, but the secret damage buff is what gets it on here in the first place. After that, we've got Placidisax's Ruin. This is one of only two dragon incantations that even made it to this list, dealing a good amount of damage and being actually decently difficult to dodge, as it fires off quite fast and has a lot of ticks of damage along the animation. Obviously in PvE, you can more often than not hit the entire beam of damage into an enemy, but the difficulty to dodge this one makes it even viable in PvP, though of course there are better incantations for both of those, which is why this place is so low in relation to the others. Up on the C tier then as we move up to Law of Regret. This is one of my favorites just from how angry it can actually make people. It resets everyone in your vicinity, including yourself, to their base state, removing all timed buffs, anything like Golden Vow, Flame Brand Me Strength, Aromatics of any kind, even things like Seppuku or Boiled Crab. If you spawn into a duel and see someone buffing up after buff after buff after buff, you can use this to just absolutely destroy their well-crafted plans. Of course, it also removes your own buffs, so you have to be tactical about it, either waiting to do your buffs until afterwards or just using it to completely reset the playing field and make everything neutral, go into the fight with just pure weapons, armor, and talismans. As a whole, it's quite a fun way to change the way your opponent has to think about PvP and completely disrupt their plans, and while its use is niche, it is incredible when it removes something like 40 seconds of buffing. After that comes Unendurable Frenzy. This frenzy incantation fires off a ridiculous number of angry beams of madness out of your face in a cone shape, and if an enemy is within its field of damage, they are very unlikely to be able to get out of it. Most people don't even really know what to do when this thing starts going off, and more than that, it actually does quite respectable damage to everything, especially enemies in PvE. Even though the majority of PvE enemies don't get the Magnus build-up component, it still sort of melts through things surprisingly fast for a madness-focused incantation. Speaking of madness incantations, then, next up is Frenzied Burst. The laser beam pretty much every player has seen at some point, as people love going into invasions with this and just sitting a mile away trying 
designed to snipe you from absolute maximum targeting range. The damage this does is decent, and the madness buildup it applies is significant, but there are even funnier ways to use it, like killing Melania, who most people agree is one of, if not just the hardest boss in the game, as two people sitting on opposite sides of the room just playing a weird game of ping pong with laser beams. My lord, is that legal? I will make it legal. Then last up in the C tier comes Fire's Deadly Sin. Most people know this because back in the day it was bugged to apply Death Blight when used with the Eclipse Shotel, turning people into a demon that just emanated death buildup in what was honestly the only real effective way to actually give people Death Blight, as now that status is all but dead. No pun intended. But these days it is just an interesting way to give you fire damage just for existing, turning into the Human Torch, but less effective than THE Human Torch, just causing slight fire damage to things that are nearby you. It also is completely responsible for enabling weird builds like frost buildup application on repeat, as you can use the fire damage to clear the frost debuff and apply it again for a pseudo bleed effect, taking off 10% of your opponent's health every time you activate the frostbite, then just removing it to start again. Up now and over to the B tier we have O Flame, the fire monk incantation that is essentially just a charged version of Catch Flame. Generally speaking, it is quite good, especially in PvE where you can actually charge it up the full amount to damage things properly, which it does extremely well. Generally, fire incantations can get quite insane in this game, but this is one of the better single target fire incantations around, with the only real limit to it being the time it takes to charge up fully compared to its particularly short range, meaning you need the right opening to properly take advantage of it. After that comes Exyx Decay, the second and final dragon incantation here. This thing does decently respectable damage, can be fired from the air, making you a bit harder to hit while you're using it, and most importantly is one of the most reliable ways to apply Scarlet Rot to an opponent in the game, especially considering you don't need to focus your entire build around it like having a Scarlet Rot weapon. It's just sort of there, and you can use it to apply Rot and then move on to the rest of your damage while your enemy slowly ticks down in health with no way to stop it. Then finally on this tier is Blood Flame Blade, the only way of applying Blood Flame as an effect to an actual weapon, and well, it's quite decent. Generally speaking, the faster you can hit with your weapon, the better this buff will be, as Blood Flame as a status applies a fair amount of blood build up over two seconds, and the more frequently that you hit, the more build up will be stored up until the bleed just happens a little bit after the hit connects. This is great in PvE, a bit harder to pull off in PvP, but realistically it just all depends on the weapon that you're using it with, and there are definitely certain ways of using it that are surprisingly effective. Moving on up to incantations that are genuinely extremely good now up on the A tier, first up is Catch Flame. I mentioned O Flame earlier and that incantation does do more damage than this, but only really when charged because Catch Flame is actually extremely good. It does a load of damage each time you cast it, but even more importantly than that, you can cast it with ridiculous speed back to back, letting you just spam this on anything that's close to you. It shreds things in PvE, especially things that are weak to fire damage, and in PvP, if you can catch someone off guard with it, it can completely destroy their hopes of hitting you with a melee weapon, either killing them outright or giving you the opportunity to switch to a longer ranged combat option as they flee. Stay away! Far away from me forever! After that, we have Pest Threads, one of the most annoying incantations an enemy in the game will use, and of course, you can have it for yourself, allowing you to fire off a barrage of tracking projectiles and do a good load of damage when they connect. In PvE, this is pretty good, especially against enemies that would otherwise dodge a slower incantation. But in PvP, this thing can be quite deadly, especially when you launch it off and then close the gap to finish them while they panic about all the incoming projectiles. Following that, it is a very similar concept, Swarm of Fly. This incantation is a slow tracking ball that just homes in on your opponent, dealing a decent bit of damage, but more importantly, a very high amount of bleed buildup. And, and well, if you've been playing Elden Ring for longer than five minutes, you probably already know how strong bleed is. In a lot of ways, this is good for the same reason that Pest Threads is good. You can launch it off and then close the gap and attack with other things while your opponent is endlessly attempting to dodge this swarm of angry insects. Then we come across Honed Bolt, which is something that has caused me a lot of pain in this game personally. This incantation fires off a lightning bolt to your target's location extremely quickly and accurately, and while it doesn't do a ridiculous amount of damage, it is very spammable. The most common use of this that I see is in PvP, where you can get someone low health by whatever means you have available to you, and then when they are running away from you just panicking, you just whip this out and start spamming it. It can be dodged if they know the timing, but that means they have to dodge it perfectly, over and over and over again, while also trying to actually kill you in the process. Finally on the tier is Ancient 
Ancient Dragon Lightning Storm, which in PvP is uh, nearly useless, as people will just dodge it every single time. The windup is long and the range is short, but in PvE, this thing is nearly unmatched. It absolutely shreds bosses for thousands and thousands of damage when you build around it, becoming an absolute death machine to anything that isn't particularly resistant to lightning damage. Moving on up to the S tier for incantations that are probably a little bit broken, but in a good way, of course, at least if you're the person that's using them, that is, we have Giant's Flame Take The, a massive ball of explosive fire that you hurl out in front of you in an arc, blowing up for a gigantic chunk of damage when it lands in a decent sized area around it. This thing destroys bosses in PvE like very few other incantations can do, but also it has a lot of use in PvP, as well it has a decent charge up time to fully release the full power version, it has a great range and a big explosion radius to still catch people who aren't full sprinting the other direction. And then with the... Uh... With some therapy, I, I learned how to walk a straight line. Then, of course, comes everyone's favorite quick-firing incantation, Bestial Sling. This one fires out a cone of rock shards in front of you incredibly fast, making it quite hard to dodge, but it also does a surprising amount of damage as well. As a result, you can use this similarly to how I recommended using Holden Bolt to finish an already low enemy, but you can also just use this as a main damage source because it's actually just that good. The damage combined with the speed and the fact that it costs more stamina than anything else just makes it ridiculously spammable, and that combination of things make this one of the best incantations in the entire game. On to the final tier then, up in S+, these are the incantations that it is difficult not to use if you are in a faith build, like just about everyone should have them. First up, and arguably could even be in a tier all of its own, Golden Vow. This is a buff that lasts for 80 seconds, which is incredibly long for a buff, and for that entire duration you deal 15% more damage, regardless of damage type, just everything thing 15% more, and you also take 10% less incoming damage. It is insanely good, and the only requirement is having 25 faith. If you're on a faith build and you don't have this incantation on your bar, you're missing out like all hell. Hell, if you are running any build with the ability to get to 25 faith, you probably should, solely for how good this specific incantation is. It is honestly worth more than hitting the soft caps of your main stat on a non-faith build, it's just that crazy strong. And then finally, along similar lines, we have Flame Grant Me Strength. This one only applies to physical and fire damage, giving you a 20% buff to both of those damage types for 30 seconds after casting, but the thing that makes this truly ridiculous is that it of course stacks with Golden Vow. You can use them together, and uh, let's be honest, the vast majority of builds that people actually use in this game are either based on physical damage or fire damage. Not all of them, of course. I'm not saying that is every damage type that's used in the game, but a lot of the best weapons tend to be at least one of those two types, which makes this incantation worth having around and using to buff them, especially when it costs very little to have and the requirement to use it isn't even that high. And that just about covers it everyone. The best incantations in the game all ranked against each other. Obviously this is largely my own personal opinions, but I also have hundreds and hundreds of hours in this game, and I'm somewhat plugged into the community at large, so I hope you can all see the reasons why I advocate for everything on this list. Of course, one final reminder that if an incantation even made it to this list, it is worth using in some capacity, as there are 101 incantations in the game, and only 18 that I thought truly worth pitting against each other in this tier list. If you disagree with the placement of any of these on the list, or think that another incantation deserves being talked about that wasn't even on it, feel free to mention it in the comments and talk it up for everyone there. Like if you liked the video, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more, and most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, stay sweet. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye